Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land on this hashtag Transformation Tuesday. We're so excited to have a master of transformation. Andrea Ward is in the house. She is an incredible image consultant and stylist. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your journey. We know you're a good friend of Danny. Yes. Danny Rojo, he referred you over. We've seen you on the Steve Harvey show. What's your life like here in La La Land? Uh, my life is just, it's amazing. I mean, I'm living my dreams out. What are your dreams? My dream, my dreams are right now is being a celebrity stylist and designer, working with um, executives, um, film directors, actresses. But how did you get there? Because that's a dream for so many people, right? They want to style the stars on the red carpet. That takes a lot of work and that takes a lot of talent and drive. What was your journey to that? Well, my journey before I became a fashion stylist or designer, so I came, actually came, I started out from an abusive relationship. I was 23, I just finished college. And then at that time I was kind of homeless, so I didn't really have anything to kind of lie my feet on. And so I personally didn't like the person I was becoming. You know, I didn't want to be a disappointment to my family and especially for the next generation to come. So what I did was, I studied, I did research online. I didn't know how to design or sew. I didn't go to school for fashion. And uh, so I learned from YouTube and I practiced every day. And within a month, I had a whole collection of designer wear. And before I knew it, Mercedes Benz flew me out to LA for my first show for LA Fashion Week. How oh, incredible is that? What does fashion represent for you? Uh, fashion represents for me, it, it is pretty much self-expression, a statement. So my cause is against domestic violence. So I use fashion platforms to spread awareness and to protest against abuse on women and children. And not only that, so since then I've dedicated my life to the cause. You know, I actually want to be the best example to young women and even children that want to aspire and pursue their dreams. I want to show that there is endless possibilities mm -hmm. after the storm is what I call it. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, coming from understanding the soul and understand what's going on, it's hard to say because it's like, yes, there's definitely victims of domestic violence. And there's also like the consciousness that pulls in, you know, when we don't love ourselves and we think love hurts and stuff like we'll keep drawing in the abuser or the predator because there's something that needs to be held, you know, healed at a soul level for you getting out of that, um, you know, relationship that that abusive relationship. What did you have to do? What kind of work did you have to do to kind of claim that self love and claim that self expression? Well, first things first, I had to start with my mindset. It's all about, you know, your perspective and different views on the world and views on yourself as well too. So what I started doing, I started like reading inspirational books. I started watching inspirational videos. I started, and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of religious. I started praying more too. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't like something about myself, I would change it. You know, I went from 340 to 170 in a short period of time. And I didn't like where I was living. It was a lot of negativity that I was surrounded by constantly. So I decided to move to LA. Uh, I decided to occupy my time. And the more I found myself occupying my time, I actually found my purpose. Mm -hmm. And the more I can help others and inspire people, the more it inspires me to be a better person and to do more. Mm -hmm. So the more I can do in this world, the more lives I can actually change. Right. Fantastic. Are there any um, spiritual or inspirational teachers or authors or people in the world that you would recommend that you used to listen to or read? Lisa Nichols. Mm. Lisa Nichols Lisa. and I share a very similar story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So important. I think it's interesting, uh, you know, in La La Land, I think people see in the glitz and glamour that it's just like fashion, like it's just some mm -hmm. superficial thing. And it's been so interesting to dive deeper into the, you know, uh, stories and people's personal journeys and realizing that, you know, majority <laughs> of our guests have faith. Majority of our guests have had some big obstacle and have had to dig deep and do their inner work. And it comes out in the different expressions, whether it be in fashion or whether it be in their coaching or whether it be whatever it is, I feel like there's a core core desire just to heal ourselves and to make a difference in the world. So thank you so much for all of your work. So tell us about how that translates in helping people. So give some hicks and tricks of being fully expressed. <laughs> <in our fashion. laughs> so um, I, I, I guess my last show was LA Fashion Week with uh, Art Hearts. Mm -hmm. 
So what I did was I transpired my whole collection. I called it Redemption, Life that. After the Storm. Mm -hmm. It was oh, very yeah. glitz, glamorous. It was very free, very loosely. It had a lot of pop, color pops too. And um, a lot of my fans are like kind of international just because of the shows that I do. And a lot of girls reach out to me. So with showcasing on these fashion platforms and manipulating them to help these causes, it's opened a lot of windows for me. So right now I'm actually working with the U.S. military for veterans that are victims of abuse. Wow, super fun. And what are you doing with them? Are you creating styles, designs? Actually, it's gonna be a lot more than that this time. I'm actually developing a program, a mentoring program to get more celebrities to be involved that have been in those same shoes. Not just domestic violence, but um, victims of rape or molestation. You know, it's, it's so many people in this world that actually need my help. And the more I can just reach out and the more I can express myself and the more I can share my story, the more, you know, other companies and other organizations are reaching back out to me so that I can connect the pieces. And so that way we can place programs everywhere in the United States, in schools, in colleges, make it part of a curriculum to spread awareness. So that way they know the indications of domestic violence or anything of that nature. Because I feel like our youth now and the next generations are not gonna know until someone actually steps up and, t and takes a step as a leader. Mm. So in this journey right now, I'm leading. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> the world needs your best you. It really does. And we're grateful to be a part of that journey. We yeah. sure are. So tell people where they can find and follow you. Uh, everyone can follow me on AndreaWardOfficial.com. Social media is AndreaWardFashionStylist. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you Stay so tuned. Much. We'll be right back. Thank you.